<coughs> no. Shit. That did more damage than I thought it would. When did those fuckers learn to fight? Well, hello to you too, Angel. It's nice seeing you. Especially after the fucking day I had. Help me up, won't you? Oh. Would you believe me if I said that all of these bruises and cuts were to add to my rugged good looks? I didn't think so. It was worth a try. But you do agree that they add to it, don't you? <laughs> You're lucky I don't feel like dragging this out any longer. If you must know, I just had a nasty run-in with a few demons that I pissed off. I was outnumbered and out of practice. It's been a while since I've decided to be a problem. I clearly need to choose violence more often. You don't need to know what I did to piss them off. It's my ass they were beating, not yours. Which means it's none of your business. I didn't think angels actually heard prayers. I did call out for you. And that explains why you weren't too surprised when I showed up like this. Makes sense. I didn't expect you to hear me. It was just the only thing I could think of doing as I laid on Hell's floor in enough pain to make a masochist tap out. Don't start, Angel. There was nothing you could have done. If you were to try and enter the pits, you would have caused both of us a lot more trouble. Knowing that you heard me and had you terrified and worried for me is enough to heal the broken bones. No, I don't need anything but you here distracting me from the pain. I'll be fine in a few hours. Some of the scars will stay, but everything else will be healed in no time. But if you did insist on helping, I'm sure there's a few things that you can do for me that will help distract the pain more. Efficiently. You want me to tell you what the demons wanted first? You're driving a hard bargain, Angel. Are you sure you want to know? I don't think it's something you want to hear. <sighs> if it will get you on your knees for me, then fine. They're pissed that I'm having a good time with an angel, and they aren't. Because we're supposed to fuck with angels, but we're not supposed to fuck with angels. They were getting suspicious of our growing... relationship. For lack of a better word. I thought I was putting up a good act, but they found me out. I could have held out longer if I didn't keep your pretty little feather on me. It was reckless, I'll admit, but it belonged with me. I wasn't just going to leave it anywhere. Oh, but now that I'm telling you this, I'm going to need another feather, by the way. A few feathers, if you could manage it. I'd like some backups. Those feathers turn into ash in a blink once they touch hell's surfaces. Hmm. It makes me want to know how your wings will fare once I have them pushed up against the wall as I'm fuck. What the fuck? An earthquake? This area never gets earthquakes. You better check on your human. Where did he? <sighs> Give me a fucking break! What the fuck? What the fuck? What do they fucking want? Make it stop! Make it stop! Shit! The heaven's horns are worse than the stories. I never thought I'd get the displeasure of being subjected to them. What brings you disgusting archangels off your pedestal? I didn't think you were able to be in any light that wasn't blinding. To what do we owe this dishonor? We came for the garden. <sighs> As if I didn't think angels could get more annoying. What do you want with them? They aren't shit at their job, but they aren't earning any golden harps for it either. 
The reason doesn't concern you. Like hell it doesn't. We demons have a special bond with the guardians that none of you arcs would understand. What concerns them concerns us. So if you'd loosen your halos before I loosen them for you, we could... Know your place, demon. Ugh! I'll show you your fucking place and give you a new god to worship, you narcissistic pieces of- Guardian, Ugh. contain the demon before we contain him ourselves. I don't need containing. I'm fine, Angel. I promise. It's going to take a lot more than off-tune horns to keep me down. I said I don't need containing. I'm not going to stop. They're taking you away, and I need to know the reason. It's such a simple request, but these stuck-up cloud fuckers are living up to the reputation that they have in the pits. Figured that they're nothing more than oversized birds with a superiority complex. I'm not going to stop, because I need to know. I need to know what's going to happen to you. I don't have a good feeling about this. I just got back from being torn apart in the pits. And now you're getting taken by the arcs? Do you truly believe everything is going to be fine? Or are you just saying that for my sake? I told you angels shouldn't lie. Especially not in front of their bosses. You're going to ask them something? Speak, Guardian. What do you wish to know? No, we are not reassigning you. You are the best fit for this human. And yet you're taking them away and leaving their human with me, a demon. We are certain you will not do anything that will hurt the Guardian. What is that supposed to mean? We will be leaving now. Guardian, come. That is a command. No, you still haven't said- Fuck. Fuck! Stop! You can't take them! I won't let you fucking take- Damn it! Damn it all! What are they going to do with you? Finally! I didn't know how long I could take you being gone. I was debating whether or not to bang on the gates of heaven until I got answers, and I got you. What the hell did they want? Why were you gone for so long? You know how difficult it's been not to fuck with your human? Why are you looking at me like that? <sighs> what did they tell you? Because I guarantee everything that they said was a lie. Come on, Angel. Talk to me. What happened? Why are you backing away from me? What did they say? Because I promised that. What do you mean, what am I talking about? The Arcs. The Arcs took you. What did they do? <laughs> did you just say, keep your distance, demon? Look at me. I said, look at me. I can't fucking believe it. And to think I underestimated angels thinking that they didn't have a cruel cell in their being. I think the devil himself would be proud with what they've done. They've fucked with your memory. Your memory of me. Angel. It's me. It's Solus. Yes, I'm a demon. And you're an angel. And we shouldn't have worked, but we did. We were something. We were something that no being on heaven, hell, or earth would understand. We fought. We fucked. We've made memories of clubbing and cliff jumping. You have yet to beat me in a race. You made me believe that heaven was in the feathers of your wings, and hell is when I'm away from you. We were everything, don't you understand? You're giving me nothing. I'm not trying to deceive you. Every word I've said is the truth. Look me in the eyes and try to tell me that I'm lying. Don't you angels know sincerity when you see it? I wouldn't lie about this. 
About anything else, sure. But not about this. Not about us. Demons don't fall for angels. You should at least know that much. They don't, and if they do, they won't admit to it. But I'm admitting to it. I saved a human for you. Not even your human. I let your human live, thrive even. I've touched you in ways I've never touched another body and let you do the same. We knew each other inside and out. <laughs> All that time we spent together, gone. The time spent building what we had together, gone. Why am I even trying? The Arcs had me down with just noise. Who am I to think I would be able to undo whatever they did to you? Of course you wouldn't believe me. They reset how you think of me. How you think of demons. They made you just like them. They took away what I did to you. What we did together. Ha! <laughs> Even if we started over and got to where we are now, they're just going to take you away again. They're just going to do this over and over and over until we give up. It's a punishment. A punishment for both of us. And I thought hell had good punishments. Reassigning would have been easy, but they wanted to make sure that nothing like this ever happened again. Reassigning would have only opened a door for us to change the thinking of other guardians and even other demons. If we don't play our roles exactly how they're meant to be played, they're going to come back and assure that we do for as long as they need to. They left me no choice. I'm done playing by their rules. I've told you how much I've dreamed of doing this. If only I could do it on my own terms than theirs. That only leaves me with one choice. Well, Angel, to put it simply, I'm going to damn you so they can never touch you again. Ah!